I'm going to show you how to use bar modeling to find fractions of amounts. For example, if we wanted to find what 2 thirds of 12 equals, I can use a bar model to figure that out. First step is to draw my bar model. And I know that this bar model is worth 12. So I'm going to write that this entire bar is worth 12. What could I do? Well, I could start by dividing by 3. Why am I doing that? Because the denominator tells me that there are 3 equal parts that make up 12. So what happens when I do that? The 12 get split into three thirds and each part gets four. If you're not sure how each part got four, click on the star below to take you to a video that will show you how each part of the 12 became four. Now that the 12 got split into 3 thirds and each part gets 4. So what can I do next? I could multiply my answer by 2. Why am I doing that? Because the numerator tells me that I need 2 parts. What happens when I do that? I go from having 1 third as 4 to having 2 thirds as 8. So 2 thirds of 12 is 8. Let's do another one, but this time work along with me. So make sure you have paper, pencil, and pause the video at the appropriate times before seeing the answers. So let's start with what is 1 fourth of 12? Begin by drawing a bar model which has a value of 12. Now ask yourself, what could I do? You could start by dividing 12 by 4. Now ask yourself, why am I doing that? because the denominator is telling me that there should be four equal parts that make up 12. Pause the video here and answer this question. What happens when you do that? The 12 gets split into fourths and each part gets three. What could you do next? Look at the numerator to see how many parts you need. The numerator says you only need one part. So one of these parts is worth three, which tells me that one fourth of 12 is three.